Today is Thursday, September 5th, 2019. It's 12 noon, and I'm calling my friends at the Elmont Police, especially Chief Andy Martin, who hasn't returned my last two emails. Hi, um, I'm trying to reach uh, Chief Andy Martin. Um, let me see if he's available. May I ask you calling? Yes. Okay, hold on just a moment. Thank, thank you. Okay, sir? Yes. Uh, they are all out on the run at the moment. May I take a message for him? Oh, would you like his voicemail? Uh, no, could you take a message, ma'am? Yes, yes, I can do. Um, would you uh, ask Chief Martin to call me? Um, he, I sent him an email on September 1st, and I also sent him an email on September 4th that required uh, a response. I need I need information for my case that, that he has available. Okay, and what is a good number he can reach back at? Um, 810. And I also I need I need access to a mandated reporter, and that's him. A mandated reporter? Yeah, he knows all about it. Okay, I will have up the information. Okay, great, thank you. All right, thank you. Bye bye. bye. Right, let's see how that goes. Here's the definition of a mandated reporter, adult mandated reporter for the state of Michigan. The Social Welfare Act of 1939, PA 280, includes the legal requirement for reporting, investigating, and responding to abuse, neglect, and exploitation of an adult. The act requires certain persons to follow to report their abuse, neglect, and exploitation of an adult, and permits all persons to report their abuse, neglect, or exploitation of an adult. The act sets forward civil penalties for a mandated reporter's failure to make a report of reasonably sus suspected abuse, neglect, or exploita exploitation of an adult. Additionally, it states the civil immunity for a party making a good a report in good faith. The purpose. The intent of this item is to inform the Michigan Department of Health and Human Services, that's the people I'm trying to sue for destroying my home and leaving me homeless or leaving me without water, running water since November 2017, and that's why nobody's reporting anything. Employees have their responsibilities as mandated reporters of suspected abuse, neglect, or exploitation of an adult to provide instruction on how to report such instances or consequences for failure to report. Abuse, harm or threatened harm of an adult's health or welfare caused by another person. That's DHHS workers that destroyed my home and adult protective services workers that covered it up. Abuse includes, but is not limited to, non-accidental physical or mental urge injury, and I haven't been sexually abused. Adult or adult in need of protective services. Vulnerable adult, not less than 13 years of age, who is suspected of being abused, neglected, or exploited. Being without water, running water since November of 2017 means I've been abused, neglected, and exploited. Exploitation, an action that involves the misuse of an adult's funds, property, or personal dignity, dignity by another person. In 2016, I had a, a job offer, a, a, a buyer for my home, and a chance to move to a warm climate under doctor's orders. The state of Michigan made it impossible for me to drive my car, my vehicle, to accept work, and I tried to get assistance from Lapeer DHHS that I applied in November 2000, October 2016. The only thing they did for me is in, in January 2017, they properly installed a water heater from a 37% uh, over market rates crony, uh, crony buddy uh, plumber that uh, I fired and they sent back saying that they would do the job correctly. They didn't do the job correctly. They they uh, plumbed it all wrong. It leaked three times and destroyed my home, and uh, they've left me to die without running water since November 2017. Neglect. Harm to an adult's health or welfare caused by the inability of the adult to respond to a harmful situation or the conduct of a person who assumes a responsibility for a significant aspect of the adult's health or welfare. That's uh, Lapeer DHHS and also Elmont Police. Neglect includes the failure to provide adequate food, clothing, shelter, or medical care. A person shall not be considered abused, neglected, or in need of emergency or protective services for the sole reason that the person is receiving or relying on treatment by spiritual means. That has nothing to do with me. Adult protective services includes, but is not limited to, remedial, social, legal, legal, health, and mental health, mental health and referral services provided in response to a report of alleged harm or threatened harm because of abuse, neglect, or exploitation. I've been exploited by Stephen Atkinson, that was my initial Adult Protective Services agent. He came to my home on 8-31-2017 with DHHS's plumber 
They, uh, I showed them exactly where it leaked, why it leaked, and, and what it would take to fix it so it wouldn't leak. The plumber refused to do it correctly. All he did was patch it. Steve Atkinson told me that I could sue the state of Michigan. At the same time, I asked him that I wanted to file a criminal complaint against Rhonda Lansing and Tanya McCrory of, of Lapeer County DHHS. He told me that he would take me to the Elmont Police to, to uh, file the complaint. Later in the day, later in the conversation, he changed his mind. He said, I'm out of time. I'll have to do it uh, some other day. Then I chased him for a month, uh, trying to call him to get him to help me file that criminal complaint. And then at the end of chasing him for a month, he, he called back and he says, I'm not going to take it. You're on your own. And then hung up. That's what he did. Then I tried to file a complaint against uh, Elaine Stoutenberg, the Adult Protective Services agent that lied to Elmont Police Officer Leo Hager in September of 2018. And he, she told him that to give her give me her number and she would help me try to get my house fixed. I called her 11 times. She finally called back. She said, call the DHHS crisis hotline. That's all she would respond. Then uh, I asked for her supervisor. I got Dave Lynch, David Lynch, who was a supervisor for Adult Protective Services. And I talked to him and I argued with him for an hour on September 20th, 2018. He sounded like he was drunk. I've got the video of that. Why would anybody s spend an hour and a half telling me the same thing over and over and over again? That then he finally uh, hung up and I didn't see him again until uh, December 17th, 2018, when he came to my home with uh, police officer Laura Black, and at that, that time, I tried to file a criminal complaint for gross negligence against DHHS worker Joseph Baker, who emailed me on um, November 27, 2018, and said, I can arrange to have uh, local police, which is Almont Police, bring you water. And uh, I immediately wrote back I, and said, yes, please do that. Uh, he never wrote, he never uh, responded. So I started trying to make complaints against him with the Almont Police, but they refused to take my complaint. And you can take a look at that, too. The Social Welfare Act requires persons who are employed, no, that's nothing. Procedures for making a, a report. The mandated report who, reporter who suspects or has reasonable cause to believe an adult has been abused, neglected, or, exploit, or exploited must immediately, by telephone or otherwise, make an oral report to the MD, MDHHS Central Intake Unit. And when I called to uh, ask Steve Atkinson for all of his uh, files under uh, Freedom of Information Act, all he did was send me one um, copy of, of a uh, hospital report in 2013 when I slipped on the ice and uh, was in, was in uh, Lapeer Hospital for uh, nine days. I uh, He had nothing else and uh, he, he was in charge of my case for a year. He had no notes whatsoever. Uh, Lapeer DHHS com uh, completely ignored me and told the Michigan State Police that they have no records. And I have proof of that too. When in doubt whether to make a report of su suspected abuse, exploitation of an adult or a report must be made to the centralized intake unit at and I've called that number given given in my report and they've just ignored me. Failure to report it. A person required by the Social Welfare Act to make a report of suspected neglect, abuse or exploitation of an adult who fails to do so is li liable civilly for the damages and um, 500 bucks. They also um, failing to report may uh, face disciplinary action. I hope they get fired. Okay, that's that story. And every one of the Elmont police are considered mandated reporters, and they refuse to uh, do their jobs.